हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर मयूर अग्रवाल फ्रॉम भोपाल फैकल्टी फॉर मैरो एंडोक्राइनोलॉजी सुपर स्पेशलिटी टुडे वी हैव अनादर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गेस्ट वी हैव हियर डॉक्टर प्रिंस हु हैज रिसेंटली क्लियर्ड द आईएनआई आल्सो ही हैज क्लियर्ड द नीट एसएस सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द एंटायर टीम ऑफ मैरो आई कांग्रेचुलेट यू यू हैव डन रियली गुड this is one of the toughest exam and endocrinology is the top most branch in india today so if you would be seeing almost like in top 100 25 almost one in four candidate is actually opting for endocrinology in these exams so heads off congrats you have cracked the toughest exam in india so let's begin how you are feeling abhi obviously you would be feeling great but just in your words so i am feeling amazing uh, the all the hard works uh, that i have put into for in this exam has been paid off so i am feeling very wonderful good and that's very uh, sincere answer i would say so just tell me about you kahan se aapne ug kiya hai pg kahan se kiya hai uh, i am prince astogi uh, i am a resident of koshambi uttar pradesh and i have done my undergraduate from Uh, GSV Medical College Kanpur and I have done my post graduation MD medicine from Motilal Nehru Medical College Allahabad I have passed uh, in July 2021 and after that I am uh, preparing for this exams and I have uh, uh, also doing my senior residency from Autonomous State Medical College Fatehpur okay so uh, you took uh, almost 2 years i would say for preparation so where you working aap isme kaam kar rahe the ya you were just sitting and studying uh, no sir i was uh, simultaneously preparing for senior residency uh, i was doing senior residency as well and preparing for uh, both the neat ss and the ini ss as well so uh, a frequent question that is asked ki uh, were you working in the endocrine department or uh, you Uh, had no experience of endo like you did not have any previous exposure ki patient kya hai all those uh, rare disorders all or even frequent disorders like cushing sacro ye sab patients aapne dekhe nahi dekhe pehle uh sir uh, in our md medicine department uh, there was no dedicated endocrine department of uh, endocrinology but we are uh, i was very much fortunate that our hod dr sajita bajaj ma'am was there with us and uh, uh, under her guidance i was able to see uh, many of the uh, cases during the opds as well as in ipd so i was very much fortunate that uh, uh, ma'am was there with us so i i believe she is your role model and she is the inspiration that you took endocrinology yes sir uh, surely she is uh, my role model yeah so uh, another question is since you have cracked both the exam you have cracked neat ss as well as the ini do you feel that there is difference between the two ki ye prepare karne mein uh, kuch issues hain ya hame ek ko hi target karna chahiye ya it will get diluted agar hum dono ki taiyari kar le because see one is a completely more of medicine based the other is a mainly endocrine based paper uh, sir uh, actually the uh, preparation for both the exams is totally different Uh, so uh, at a time you cannot target the both the exams so uh, uh, as so the seats are more in uh, uh, neat ss exams for endocrinology uh, the students must target uh, neat ss uh, what i believe and uh, if they get time after their neat ss exams they should focus on ini ss they should not uh, go uh, directly to prepare for ini ss because the seats are limited uh, usually the seats are within 10 so uh, it is very difficult uh, that uh, uh you have you are uh, in a separate path and preparing for only endocrinology it must be uh, your strategy must be that uh, you should prepare first the medicine part and uh, if you are confident enough that uh, okay i have just more uh, i have prepared well then you should target the endocrinology part okay so i i believe that is uh, uh, 
almost stands is true for almost everyone because this is really difficult to target INISS and the seats are very less. You can be never confident that you would be cracking the exam because it's really a matter of luck also along with your preparation obviously so how did you uh, do the preparation whether you were just reading harrison whether you were focusing on williams or did you read some important topics only so how did you manage because it's really tough as you said cracking both the exam is really tough during my course of preparation i've just started uh, uh, firstly from harrison i've read the endocrinology part and then i have watched uh, all the uh, videos of uh, Dr. Nalini, madam, uh, from Mayor Faculty. And uh, then I have uh, uh, retrograde, uh, I began to prepare for the medicine part as well, uh, because that is also very important in the preparation. Almost 30 questions came from medicine part. So gradually I built up my concepts and uh, watched the, all the uh, uh, previous year MCQs as well. And the MCQ question bank uh, were also very good. That uh, I have incorporated along with my preparation. Uh, Dr. Mayur's videos were very much helpful. Uh, they were uh, extremely detailed and conceptualized, uh, which also helped me uh, in uh, my preparation. Uh, so see, uh, this year we have also started this high yield topic videos, especially when uh, the course is such a vast for this uh, neat SS. So what we have tried to do is uh, we have to make uh, we have tried to make this all those each faculty from Marrow has tried to make the videos in concise and all those important points we have tried to cover so that it would be really helpful for the candidates to read everything to understand everything and to retain everything within that short time because uh, time again is a very problematic for all the uh, aspirants because you have to cover everything in medicine and it's too vast so did you feel that this high yield videos are firstly did you watch them and did you feel that this was helpful uh, sir i have watched most of the videos of high yield videos especially the genetics part because that was not uh, covered in the previous modules and that played a very significant role in the neat ss preparations and they have also introduced the biostatistics part as well. The MCQs portion as well, the uh, marrow has been included in the, the uh, recent editions. So that also very helped me in neat SS preparation. Okay. And any other strategy? So this was what we have planned. But what you did for yourself, that is what I would like to know. Because time is very low. So how did you revise it? Especially in last moment, you have to retain everything. That's the toughest job. Uh, so, sir, I have made all the uh, notes of uh, videos, important videos. And uh, then I have in the last moment, I have revised all of the all of the notes and uh, I have uh, revised all the tables, important topics from Harrison as well. So that was the key uh, revision. Uh, you have to do revision to get a good rank. Yeah. And uh, since you have cracked both the exam and you're getting, obviously you will be opting for INI only, but for those students, because now when you got for this neat ss you would have researched everything you got into a dnb seat that is what i know apollo uh, delhi you got so uh, for those students not for you what do you feel that whether going for dm versus dnb will it make any difference because you would have researched in this time almost like you got two three weeks so obviously it would be a very much beneficial to do a dm course I was always interested that uh, I should do a DM endocrinology from a, a reputed institute with a good academics. Uh, so uh, I was not very much satisfied with my DNB program, but uh, fortunately I got a seat in uh, INIs. Yeah, so yeah, obviously that's a great thing. Another thing I would like to know is uh, because most of the viewers would like to ask this question to you. See, you are getting a seat at a non-bonded place. That's a really great thing. But again, the choice of the candidate, it's a tough decision to make whether to go for a DM with bond or to go with DNB without bond. So uh, what uh, what is your opinion on that? What would you suggest uh, to sir. the future aspirants? All right, sir. 
sir i would just want to say that if you are getting a dm seat at in your state only then you should opt for that only and if you are not getting you have to travel a lot uh, to do your uh, dream branch endocrinology then i think uh, it will be a good decision to a dnb because uh, 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 at last you are getting a endocrine seat and you have to see at this age uh, your family as well uh, so uh, considering that fact in mind uh, you should uh, uh, prefer a brand, uh, prefer a seat near your uh, hometown so i totally agree the priority changes and again it's an individualized decision but i totally agree to your answer kyunki aap jahan rehne wale hain aapka ghar hai so it also makes good contacts uh, with your peers all those things matters and ultimately most of the dm aspirants jo enter ho rahe hain they are 30 plus so again they have too many responsibilities and it's a good thing i would say it's a balanced thing what we need to do so that's i agree on that secondly uh, where are you opting that's another important question this year we don't have any seat for open candidate in aims delhi just one sponsored seat so where are you opting for uh, this year in iniss uh, sir i have yet to decide it with my family my wife uh, and then uh, i will come to a conclusion okay okay so again uh, one more uh, before we end i would like to ask you uh, have you watched our this uh, previous year questions also and did you feel that uh, it was useful because i see now too many repeats and not let's say not even repeats but at least the topic that is almost same and the question revolves around that only so did you watch and did you feel that it was useful Sir, yes sir all the previous year questions were very much useful because the topics remains the same but the uh, depth of the uh, question asked that varies in every exam uh, so uh, it is will be very much useful if the students are preparing uh, and watching them again and again so that they can be focused more for their preparation and they know uh, which topics they should be with uh, very much sound and uh, which uh, topics they could uh, avoid so that uh, they could uh, get a good score in the ina exams yes so completely agree on that too because again the questions almost remains the same uh, it's just here and there twist so if you know the topic in detail if you know what they are going to ask if you are confident enough on that topics it is really useful to crack the exam and though it's not a platform to ask here but i would also like to ask you that uh, for your interview uh, what were the question asked and did you prepare it uh, something different you did for your interview because that's a big challenge and also there is a uh, taboo around that ki bhai jo acche institutes se hain unhi logon ko lene wale hain jo freshers hain unhi ko lene wale hain so there are n number of questions going in the minds of the aspirants so i want you to clear that also uh, yes sir i have also heard about the same thing but i believe in myself and uh, uh, your preparation strategies were very good uh, you have also shared a, a video uh, on uh, how what the topics would be asked usually in the aims interview that was helpful uh, very much in my preparation and uh, mostly the questions are based on approach how should we approach a case and uh, they just want to ask that is the uh, child is uh, is the candidate uh, has enough prepared and he is very much keen interested in endocrinology that uh, i think they just want to assess in their interviews okay and uh, before we end two more quick question Firstly I would like to get feedback on what we are doing whether uh, we are good enough anything you want us to improve and secondly what would be your message for the future aspirants for the future endocrinologist yes uh, firstly the platform is very much good uh, the marrow the quality of videos uh, the content they are providing the question bank they are providing and uh, the grand test the mini tests they are organizing they are very much useful for a candidate for neat ss preparation as well as for ini ss preparation and uh, 
I don't think I could uh, any uh, point out any mistake <laughs> in the marrow yeah, platform. There, there is always room for improvement. That is what I agree. So uh, it is your uh, good thing that you are not telling. But yes, we want something. You can just go on. Not a problem. You can say the negative thing also. That will help us to improve. Uh, I think uh, there must be some videos more on lab endocrinology because that okay. is evolving. Uh, so I think uh, the one or two videos should be there. But uh, the rest thing are very good. Okay, thank you. And and uh, and the message for the future aspirants. Uh, for future endocrinology aspirants, I just want to say that uh, uh, be focused and uh, believe in yourself. Uh, then uh, you, you will be getting a seat, but you have to work hard and hard and just not to be get defocused. Be in your path. Uh, in the time being, you must get a DM seat at your choice. So thank you. Thank you for sparing time. Thank you very much for coming for this interview in short time. And again, I congratulate you. You have done really good. And I welcome you to this side of the table, to the elite class of endocrinologists. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir.